time to get busy. Such a lot to do. Oh, hi. I'm Nick. So, like, but you probably already knew that. Um, I feel like that's a reference to something, but you probably already knew that. Uh, so, we're almost done with the Lyric and Hit Entertainment collection. We're almost getting to all the Hit Entertainment uh, videos that I have. Not very big, surprisingly. At least for non-Barney. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about these books. Yeah, I bet you didn't expect this. So, yeah. the So, Lyric Studios, uh, Lyric Publishing, uh, published uh, the books based off the humongous entertainment characters. Freddy Fish, Pajama Sam, and Putt Putt. I think they also did Spy Fox as well. Uh, but I've never been able to find one. So, like, yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. These were released at a very horrible time uh, because these were released right when uh, both companies, uh, Lyric and Humongous, were going through like financial troubles. And of course, like uh, Lyric uh, Studios, we'll, we'll get to what happened to Lyric in a second. While well, Humongous uh, laid off uh, a good amount of their employees, creative director Trisha Legault. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about her. She was the uh, creative director for Lyric Publishing and some of the Barney books. Yeah, I, I think she's uh, dead now. Rest in peace. Mm. Yeah, so this uh, these books are usually based off the games. Uh, like here we see uh, uh, Smokey, I think that's what his name is. Smokey the fire engine and Putt Putt's going on like a big like pet chase. There's like a lot of different areas we see in the games. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to spoil too much, but there is a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, they did, it really did a good job at replicating the, uh, the games. Uh, in these books. So, yeah. Okay, uh, the next one. Uh, we have another Putt Putt book. Go, Putt Putt, go, Putt Putt. Oh, God. Come on, Pep. Let's go. Woof, woof. That, that's not how pep sounds like. I'm, I don't want to do the pep uh, barking right now. Yeah, this uh, book is based off a lot of the games. Uh, Putt Putt's getting a zoo uh, chow, like in the Putt Putt Saves the Zoo game. I could do a separate video on my Humongous Entertainment Collection. Uh, but I don't really have that many of the games, really. I would like to collect a lot of them. There's, like, a lot of people on YouTube that collects uh, not just the games, uh, but they also collect a lot of the books and, like, different kinds of merchandise. I'm like, how do they even find those? Yeah, so this uh, book is uh, very much based off the Putt-Putt Enters the Race game. Uh-oh. Put put stuck in mud. That did not happen in any of the games. I think, yeah, he's calling a tow truck. I think in like Put Put joins the parade. Like, uh, like his tires pop from like some like nails and stuff in the ground. Why is there like so much mud though on the road? He has to go all the way to the zoo, and it's just. Taking like forever. Uh, so yeah, I, I wish this book was made into a game, like a little like mini like demo or whatever. I can't go there in the demo. I was hate it when he said that. And the books are probably gonna fall. Here we have a Freddy Fish one. Freddy Fish: The Missing Letters Mystery. <laughs> Great title. Did I show the back of this book? Or even the spine? Yeah, it's a very interesting, like, thing. A little interesting piece of history for both Lyric Studios and Humongous. 
uh, because I absolutely loved uh, both of their productions. Happy fourth birthday, Ricky uh, Bryant. I don't know who that is, uh, but uh, Ricky, if you see this, uh, thank you for this book. Now it's mine. <laughs> But I'll let you read it uh, because you're nice. <laughs> this is a really long, big book. It's like a puffy, like board cover. See uh, different uh, letters of uh, the buildings start going missing, and uh, we find out it's the shark character from uh, some of the games. Uh, who's stealing them to spell his name. Uh, Gil Barker, I think is what his name is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it just makes me wish that, like, a lot of, of these uh, books were made into, like, actual humongous games. I wish they made, like, a TV series or, like, a directed video series out of these. Lyric would definitely uh, distribute them. <laughs> Uh-oh, you've been hoodwinked, baby. <sighs> Case closed. Okay, sure. I don't know who this tiny uh, Freddy Fish is right here. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I was very surprised to find out these existed because I thought, like... Uh, yeah. Like, I didn't even think they made books out of these. Even when I found out uh, that they were published by Lyric Studios. Like, I didn't think that was true. Yeah, these are the other books. Uh, I don't have What's the Difference or the Color and Activity book. At the library, there was a... Uh, there was a copy of the uh, putt putt uh, saves the zoo and it came with a little uh like a uh, notebook like an activity notebook uh kind of similar to that freddy fish one i just showed uh so yeah but that uh, didn't have lyric studio's name on it at all I don't know why I'm skimming through this so fast. Yeah. When I get back to doing my DVD series, uh, I definitely uh, will uh, read some of these books that I have. Yeah, this was uh, printed sometime in 2001. So, like, yeah. I don't think uh, Hit Entertainment uh, reprinted uh, any of these books. Okay, next one. Uh, this is Putt Putt Lost in Time. This is based off the Putt Putt Travels Through Time book. Okay, this came from a library, I guess, right there. So yeah, I love Putt Putt Travels Through Time. Uh, that's one of my favorite games. Yeah, that and Putt Putt Goes to the Moon. Pep, no! Still had more energy than Meg, no! Yeah, and that scene in Hercules when like Herc was like, Meg, no! And stuff like that. Yeah, this is obviously based off the minigame where you uh, follow footprints uh, sometimes to find Pep. I'm not sure if he's there. Uh, they're looking for Pep. They're not looking for uh, his homework or like his uh, school supplies and whatever. Yeah, he's not looking for uh, like his lunchbox, his calculator. 
Well, that's the first demo in the real game. You can help me find my calculator, my uh, history report, my lunchbox, and my dog, Pep. I don't know why I still remember that. Collect them all. I wish I could collect them all. They're kind of rare. These I actually got for quite cheap. Uh, these were pretty easy to find when I first got them, but now they're, like, pretty rare. Uh, and some of them I got for, like, one cent. Yeah. Uh, what are these other ones? I don't have the color and activity book, uh, though, like I said, there was an activity book that was kind of similar to that that came with the Putt-Putt uh, 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 Saves a Zoo game uh, at the library. This is Pajama Sam Amazing TV Adventure. This was the first one I got uh, when I found out about this, uh, when I wanted to start collecting more uh, Lyric Studio stuff. Yeah, Sam gets uh, zapped into a, a TV. And, like, he gets into, like, the different shows. Here he is with a Pajama Man. Uh, yeah, the Pajama Sam games were just uh, very crazy. Oh, my God. This is all full wrongs. Uh, Sam is getting married to a blender. What? Oh, my God. Now he's in some... A football game. <laughs> this is just like one of the weirdest freaking games I've ever seen. It's not even a game. They, I wish they made it into a game. Here he is on a, a sitcom. Hello, son. I baked your favorite cookies. <laughs> At Hey Sport, one toss around a ball after dinner. Gee, thanks, but who are you? And who's that laughing? It's talking about the laugh track. <laughs> uh, game show. It reminds me of that uh, Fairly Odd Parents episode. I think you know which one where Timmy like goes through the different TV channels and TV shows. It must have been a wild dream that was it. It was all a dream, or was it? Thanks for your help, Pajama Sam. Um, yeah, I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, collect them all. I tried collecting one of these books. I think it might have been this one. Uh, I'm not sure. that. No, the order got cancelled. So, like, yeah. Yeah, I won't be able to get that. Wait, I'm already reading this one. What are you talking about? Yeah, I would collect, like to collect all these. The carrot is in this book. I think that's why I wanted to collect that one. And now we're getting to all the hit entertainment stuff. This is Bob the Builder to the rescue. So, yeah, Lyric was going through financial troubles. Uh, and uh, hit entertainment bought them. They already handled the international rights to Barney. And since they were a really big, like, production company, uh, it was a pretty big deal. So, uh, yeah, basically. And Lyric became a division of Hit Entertainment. Lyric Studio is a Hit Entertainment company. Uh, they distribute Hit Entertainment's videos under the name Hit Home Entertainment. Uh, but this didn't last very long. There was a lot of uh, executive changing around uh, behind the scenes, so... Uh, yeah, the Hit Entertainment Company just took over completely. And yeah, the original plan was that, like, Lyric would handle the U.S. Uh, distribution rights to uh, most of their shows, including Bob the Builder, Kipper, Angelina, Ballerina, and uh, Percy the Park Keeper. Uh, they did do Bob and Kipper for a brief while, and uh, there is one uh, Lyric Studios VHS of Angelina Ballerina. It's pretty rare, <laughs> Uh, I I don't even like Angelina, but I would like to collect this sometime. Uh, but yeah, but Percy the Park Keeper, yeah, that just faded to obscurity. So yeah. Yeah, this is the video that I watched at my grandparents' house, and I thought it was very interesting. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know what else to say. My Bob the Builder collection, my Bob. <laughs> my Bob the Builder collection is pretty small. 
uh, right now, I would like to collect more, especially this year. Uh, is uh, like with Zabumafu is the 25th anniversary I just found out today. There is a print date. It looks like it says uh, May uh, 3rd, 2001. Yeah. Yeah, seeing both Lyric and Hit Entertainment uh, names together that blew my mind. Uh, so, yeah. Now we have like a Bob the Builder video from Just Hit Entertainment. Uh, this is Bob's Favorite Adventures. I found this at a thrift store. I just had to have it. Contains a never before seen episode. Ballroom Bob. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it's never before seen. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, these favorite stories. Uh, favorite adventures. Uh, DVDs basically. That is like basically like an excuse to uh, release the same episodes on multiple videos. Uh, some of the episodes, yeah, on these DVDs were already released on some of the VHS tapes, uh, from what I've read. Uh, even some from the To the Rescue uh, DVD that I have. Yeah, I guess kind of like a big F U to a uh, big idea for like just walking out on them, because, like, I think, like, VeggieTales had a, a similar thing. Yeah, that, uh, really put the nail on the cross. Like, you know, metaphorically speaking. And now we have the two Kipper videos I have from, uh, Lyric Studios. For some odd reason, the hit home entertainment... For some odd reason, the hit home entertainment logo is just nowhere to be seen on these covers. Uh, this one right here is Tiger Tales. Uh, Tiger appears in every episode on this video. Tiger Tales and Pools, Parks, and Picnics. Now available from Lyric Studios and Hit Entertainment. Yeah. They mention the different characters. They show Jake, even though I, I don't think he really shows up uh, on this video at least. Uh, no, yeah, he does. I think in the other video, might he might not be in there. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I remember borrowing this and pools, parks, and picnics from the library a lot, and I remember being very intrigued by them. Yeah, this was really the beginning of the end. Lyric Studios, a hit entertainment company, uh, October thirtieth, two thousand one. Can't wait to watch that sometime. And now we have the Pools, Parks, and Picnics video, which this one actually did uh, come from the library uh, when they were giving away their VHS tapes. This one's pretty much the same. The episodes uh, are very similar. I should get a new copy uh, with a better case. Uh, so yeah, I think the tape plays like sort of fine though. I think it might be just slightly damaged. Uh, the print date is July 30th, 2001. What was the print date on the Tiger Tales one? Yeah, this uh, Tiger Tales uh, video is a much later printing. So that's pretty rare. Later on, they re-release these without the Lyric Studios name. Uh, but like... Uh, those are, I don't know if they're easy to find, but I'd rather have the original. <laughs> and they're falling. This is like just some weird one. It's a Lionsgate video. <laughs> it's a four DVD set. It's not four discs. It's two discs. Uh, they're double-sided, uh, which, yeah, I hope to replace these with the, uh, the regular releases at some point. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this has a various uh, episode compilations, Friendship Tales, Imagine That, Water, pl Water Play, and Kipper Helps Out. So that's very interesting. Yeah, like I said, it's double-sided. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I rarely ever see any Lyric or Hit Entertainment uh, DVDs or videos at uh, thrift stores anymore, so I just really want to get a lot of these.
sorry, I'm just like uh, setting these piles. Uh, some of these piles I uh, is for the ones I want to put away. Some of them I want to watch later. And now we get all the Thomas the Tank Engine stuff I have. Yeah, I'm not really into Thomas. I think it's okay, but I really got intrigued by uh, collecting the videos when uh, I remember seeing uh, some videos of people like reviewing each of the VHS releases or like showing off their VHS collection. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to do that. I only have three and two of them are of the Thomas and the Magic Railroad movie that I decided to show as a little bonus. Thomas and his first movie. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. This movie is very interesting. There's a lot of lore in there. By the way, Athena P, please do this. Please do a Thomas lore video. Uh, so yeah, this is obviously the original release from uh, 2000, I want to say. Uh, so yeah, it's a very interesting movie. Uh, very strange also. Sony Pictures DVD Center. I don't even know what that is. I see that on a lot of them. Uh, soundtrack. They made a soundtrack. Actually, I just kind of already knew there was a soundtrack. I just uh, briefly forgot about it. Uh, so, yeah. And then, yeah, there's like two piles for like uh, which ones I won't watch later. Because like one pile is DVDs, which I don't have a DVD player. Uh, to play them in here, and the VCR is up here. Uh, so yeah, like I don't hate Thomas, but like, uh, but like, like it's interesting. Like, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. Here we have ten years of Thomas. Uh, I really want to get this one. Up. I thought this one looked interesting. Uh, so yeah, it was basically just story compilations. There's even some songs I think. And they show people talking about their Thomas memories. It's not Thomas' 10-year anniversary. It's 10 years of Thomas uh, airing in the United States. Obviously, this is a later release by Lionsgate. Uh, but it's the original Anchor Bay release, which I think uh, Lionsgate bought out Anchor Bay. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, come on out. And now we have the Blu-ray of Thomas and the Magic Railroad with the director's cut. First time on Blu-ray. I was not expecting this at all when they announced it. Uh, yeah. Includes new interviews and deleted storyline scenes. That's mostly why I wanted to get this. But I still want to keep the original DVD for the nostalgic feel. Uh, so yeah, I remember when they first announced this, I really wanted to get this. But because of the pandemic, I kind of like put it off for quite a while and only... Uh, last year, did I finally get it? So, yeah. Yeah, the deleted storyline is interesting. Like, but I feel like it's kind of pointless as well. I don't really think they needed to put it in there. Oh, crud. There's just a little, two little, three little bonuses, actually. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, three to one penguins. Yes, yeah, so this is Big Idea Productions. I uh, really wanted to show this one, uh, even though I don't think Lyric or Hit uh, had ever uh, distributed these. I don't even know if they even planned on doing so. Uh, but yeah, it's a very interesting show. It's pretty much like Penguins Madagascar. <laughs> Practically, it's the exact same thing. And it's owned by DreamWorks, so yeah. Distributed by Cordant uh, Distribution Group. I don't know what that is. Uh, this might be like a reprinted copy or something. Uh, even though it says Word Entertainment. I think uh, some Lyric Studios, uh, VeggieTales videos have that same thing. It looks like there's no print date. Yeah, this one's uh, 3 to 1 Penguins, The Cheating Scales of Bula Manka. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce words. I can't read words. Now we have two Larry Boy, The Cartoon Adventures videos. 
Uh, I absolutely love Larry Boy the Cartoon Adventures. Adventures. <laughs> I don't know why I'm stumbling on words now. I wish the show lasted longer. Uh, at least, like, 13 episodes. <laughs> maybe. Maybe 10. This only lasts, like, four or five episodes. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, Cordant uh, Entertainment, whatever. Uh, that's who distributed this uh, video. I think I may have gotten this and the 321 Penguins video around the same time. Is there a print date? I see one, but I can't read it. I don't know why my arm is hurting either. And then we have, yeah, this one's the Lego My Ego uh, episode. Uh, this one is uh, the Yodel Napper. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just a you can't make the stuff up alarm. Go my brain! Comes with a little bonus. It better not have... Oh my god. It's nothing on the back. It's nothing. Don't worry, I didn't get the first time either. There is no secret ingredient. I've, I've just been in like such a Kung Fu Panda mood lately. I just have piles after piles of videos I want to watch uh, for this occasion. And now we have the rub a uh, videos I have. I remember when I first watched the show, it was on one of those children's favorites uh, VHS tapes where it had like multiple hit entertainment shows on it. Uh, and I was very intrigued. And I got these three videos from the library. They were giving away some VHS tapes. I got these. And here come the Teletubbies. This one's called Here Come the Rub Dubbers. I don't have Finbar the Mighty Movie Star, and I don't have the unreleased uh, video. I think it's called Star of the Show. Uh, some people have that. I don't know how they do. Uh, I would love to see that sometime. Like, what episodes are on there. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the number is 96, and the print date is, it looks like, January 22nd, 2004. Rubber Dubbers. It's just a very silly show. It's like the bath time version of Toy Story. It's just so like intriguing, so cutesy. I just can't stop watching it. It's like a guilty pleasure. Uh, like Jakers, The Adventures of Piggly Winks. This one is Tubbs Pirate Treasure. This is a DVD copy I found at that same thrift store. I found that Bob the Builder DVD. So I just had to have it. Tubbs Pirate Treasure and more swim in stories. I don't know why you even have to make that joke. And then we have the last one I have. Well, technically, we'll get to another one in a second. Uh, this one is High Noon in the Bathroom. It's High Noon in the Bathroom. That's what they said in the trailer. Uh, so, yeah. That's how a lot of uh, interesting episodes. I I would like uh, to collect more Rub Dubbers videos. Oh, the print date. Uh, the number is 59, and the print date is uh, May 6th, 2004. Here come the Rub Dubbers. Nickelodeon's new breakout hit comes to video. I don't remember any of Hit Entertainment shows airing on Nickelodeon or Nick Jr. Uh, I only remember once seeing Bob the Builder, and that was just before it moved to PBS Kids. Uh, so yeah, and now we have one. And now we have one of the children's favorites uh, videos, Volume Two: Seven Exciting Shows. So this is a compilation of one episode of each of Hit Entertainment's select uh, shows. Usually a lot of these have more rare episodes, maybe like 
episodes that are different from other home video releases. Like this one has the Barney episode, uh, Puppy Love, which has the original Barney Says segment. So yeah, and it opens up like this. Ugh. Yeah, interesting. They don't show any video covers for Pingu or Wishbone. And that's the interesting thing. They show like a Wishbone episode on here. I mean, the Wishbone like ended a while before. And it, like, had stopped airing on most uh, TV stations at the time. It was more, like, for older kids. It was pretty edgy, like I mentioned the last part. So, like, yeah, like, having Wishbone with something as cutesy as, like, the Rubber Dubbers or Kipper uh, was just very off. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, the number is 87, and the print date is March 18th, 2004. And we're almost done. Uh, here we have the hoobs. Hoob loads of learning and fun. Great. This is, as far as my knowledge, the only Region 1 uh, DVD release of the hoobs. I think there might be another one that's a compilation of uh, various Jim Henson productions. But, like, I'd rather have just the hoobs. Yeah, the hoobs is kind of like rub dubbers. I just couldn't stop watching this. I thought I was the only one who watched this when I was little, when I was airing on Sprout. <laughs> but, like, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. This is not branded Hit Entertainment. Uh, this is just Lionsgate. This was released in Canada, by the way. Uh, Maple Pictures. I think that's a Canadian company. Yeah, I've just been, like, really, like, watching the hoobs a lot lately. It's it just really, like destroys my brain cells really like it just makes me go like numb sometimes uh but like i just can't stop watching it and now we have two more uh this one's the hit favorites uh dvd kind of a revamp of the children's favorites uh this time more modern shows and modern episodes when the last uh regular home video releases of kipper uh so yeah this one that i didn't like think i would keep but the reason why i'm keeping it because the barney episode uh the barney episode has an alternate ending it's called butterflies the episode originally ended with a friend like you and i thought this dvd had that ending but uh this dvd actually has the alternate ending where they sing i love you so that's kind of why i'm keeping this also fifi and the flower tots as a bonus episode i don't know why it's not part of the regular episode lineup I don't even like Fifi. I know some people like who watch my videos like Fifi, uh, but I don't. <laughs> it's all Fifi. Watch Fifi every day on PBS Kids Sprout. I don't want to. Where is freaking Rory the racing car? I'd honestly rather watch that. From the creator of Bob the Builder. Great. <sighs> like that makes sense. And look for DVDs of Fifi coming soon. I don't think so. Did they even release DVDs of the show? I don't think they did. And uh, finally, we have one more bonus. This 10 Movies Family Favorites collection. Uh, yeah, like I... Yeah, the last part I showed two Polygram videos. Uh, this one has uh, a Polygram movie, uh, The Borrowers. Uh, this is just something I'm keeping for now. I don't even like a lot of these movies. Some of them are pretty edgy uh, for, like, family movies. We got, like, The Wizard. We got Cop and a Half. We got freaking Ghost Dad. Uh, yeah, I don't like a lot of these. Yeah, some of these are pretty edgy. Like, one of them has, like, a freaking, like, dancer. That's all I'm gonna say. That's the only word I'm gonna say. Uh, dancing with really, like, very little clothing. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, of course, Bill Cosby is in one of these movies. I don't like these universal multi-movie uh, discs, because sometimes they do glitch out. Yeah, I wanted to get just The Wizard, uh, but, like, I got this 10-movie collection instead. I mean, like, it's interesting. Some of these movies, I think, are okay. I think I have a simple wish, uh, like... On VHS, I think I showed that a while ago that, that I recently got. Uh, so, yeah. 
Like, I'd rather just have, like, the separate releases. I'm not really into, like, multi-movie collections like I showed earlier with the Kipper episode compilation. Uh, so, yeah. Well, that is it for now. And I'm not sure what the next collection video will be. Uh, but hopefully it will be something good. Uh, so, yeah. See you later.